right? So it's all good in the hood. Happy birthday, Rakesh. Hope you're enjoying your special day. And let's go ahead and continue on with the tournament. It's going to be... Uh, is it going to be Rainmaker for game number one, or are we going to Splat Zones? Okay, yeah. So we're going to... We're going to make sure that that is... Uh, that that is the case. And folks, once again... And yeah, yeah, that's uh, Mushu's running production running out there to make sure that we are, uh, in fact, doing splat zones. So it's a good little, uh, good little oversight to have when you're uh, running production and also running the tournament. It's uh, it's not an easy life, but you know what? Someone's got to do it. <coughs> so we're going to reset the uh, reset the lobby and make sure that we are good to go on uh, every single count. So as we get things going, once again, folks, I'd like to thank you for joining us. It's uh, super cool that you are uh, rocking out here on a beautiful Tuesday, not Tuesday, Saturday afternoon. I am very tired, what can I say? But glad that you're here joining us either way. So as we get things rolling, going to make sure that we're on splat zones and indeed we will be we also uh spared ourselves from uh from having to deal with more ray towers so that's nice what can i say <laughs> i'm just not a big fan of more towers yeah more towers more towers is like the drake of splatoon stages where it's the most popular one and no one can really figure out why I know. Yeah. yeah, whatever, dude. No, the, dude, he's not good. He is not good. He is not good. He is not good. <laughs> really? Like, that's the that's the breaking point for Infinite Omega? <laughs> is, is Drake? Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't. Either what a way to start this vod. Holy smokes! Uh, we're gonna get <laughs> folks. If you dislike Drake, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to Bros Calamity. And folks, if you do like Drake, like, comment, and subscribe to Bros Calamity. So, either way, going to get things rolling on Splat Zones here. At a uh, look like Mako Martin, indeed it is. So Team Happy Birthday Raptura going up against Team Ace 96 Deco. Dive for Happy Birthday Rakesh. Well, it is being led by Raptura. He's going to be celebrating like his birthday if he wins this for sure. And he'll be doing so with the Sloshing Machine Neo. Interesting choice to go along with the Kensa Splat Dooleys, the Blob Blobber, and the Blaster. Oh, he gets a uh, shot right to the face, courtesy of That So. With that blaster again, so dangerous in the hands of that. So, but opposing them is going to be that explosher to go along with the Tentatech Splatter Shot, the End Parry Splat Dooleys, and the Splatter Shot Pro. And Luna going to be driven away, wielding those End Parry Dooleys. Excuse me, the, uh, yeah, End Parry, there we go. Covering as much ground as she possibly can. Curling bomb to keep the uh, keep the enemies at bay. 3-3 on the field. And driving up the ramp here with that Tentatech splatter shot. A big favorite in the uh, Western meta for the early uh, portions of the game. Now Eris with those Kensa Dooleys. The maneuverability cannot be understated. This is going to be tough for Eris. Trying to hold this zone, but it is 3-3 on the field. You see the bubbles coming in. And indeed, there was really only one choice, and that was to vacate the premises. But now it's going to be 3-3 on the field. Sacrifices having to be made here. Make it 4-2. And uh, going to see a deluge of blue soon enough. And Luna trying to come in and assist with the takeover of the zone. 
Taking out Raptura will help and indeed will secure the job. As the splat wall, uh, splat wall being thrown up. Beacon on Luna. Gonna have to be careful here, trying to scout out the competition before the charge comes in. Don't want to be doing that shorthanded, however. 4-2 on the field, and Luna with the, oh my gosh, the inkjet firing away. Gonna be looking for a double kill here, and you're not gonna find it at that range, but does well to get one. And now is Team Ace domineering as always. Looking to play some aggressive Splatoon and will get the trade. Will Astro, however, it's a complete team wipe, three to two on the field. And it looks like that will be the coup de grace implemented by Team Ace, and indeed it will. The boys in blue are going to take game number one in a pretty convincing fashion. And we're going to look at the statistics right now. Team Ace, uh, Astro leading the way in splats, but combining with Ace for 15 splats, a well-rounded effort by all parties involved on Team Ace. And uh, no one really leading the way, but uh, everyone contributing and everyone, uh, you know what? Sometimes all you need is coordination and Team Ace has that in spades. So happy birthday, Rakesh, being taken to task. And you saw some very good individual efforts on the part of Happy Birthday Rakesh, but ultimately just not uh, not nearly enough to uh, take the uh, take the advantage. So as we get it, so as we get set for game number two here between HBR and Team Ace. Still a lot of things happening around me. I do apologize for that. It will be interesting to see how Raptura and company respond as uh, Raptura is the captain of this particular side. Uh, Pixely, that's so, and Eris are going to have to respond in a pretty big way as we do see some good individual performances, but that aggression being used against them by, uh, by Astro and Ace go along with uh, Luna and Neo. So that ought to be interesting. But nonetheless, so we're awaiting game number two, folks. Once again, twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity. And uh, Ron Maru, as uh, he is known. Well, I mean, this is we're, we, could, we could just go by his tag in the game, whatever, Neo or Ron Maru. Whatever the case may be, either way, he's a heck of a player and a heck of a teammate to have. Good company for Ace, Astro, and Luna. As we approach game number two, it's gonna be Tower Control at Starfish Main Stage. It's a stage that has since been retooled since the uh, since the beginning of the game. Raptura breaking out, old reliable, the sloshing machine. And here we go. The sloshing machine by Raptura. He'll be joined by the Octoshot and the Kensa Rapid Blaster of Pixely once again. To go along with the backline splat charger. The splatter scope, it looks like. To be uh, to be specific, Raptura reaching up and picking the fruits of his labor up off of the top. And he's going to ride the tower and take the first points of this game number two. And he's going to make a pretty big dent on that score. However, being taken... Two tasks from behind by Ace. He will be doing work with that Kensa Splattershot Pro and he'll be joined by the uh, Light Tetra Duelies. And along with the Tend Attack Splattershot and the Jet Squelcher. Neo will be driven off the tower. However, he gets right back on, but to no avail, nowhere to go. And Raptura with that Stingray, you can see why he went with it now. Stingray. Uh, goes with tower control like uh, chocolate and peanut butter. Now as he rides the tower once again, looking to take out some, uh, looking to take out some competition. Not quite able to get the trade. And Astro 
Throws some toxic mist. You're going to be seeing all, quite a bit of that from Astro in this matchup, just trying to inhibit movement however he possibly can. Raptura. We have two specials ready on the side of Green, and indeed the, the Stingray coming out. It's going to allow them to reset. Ace will take out Pixely with that Booyah Bomb. Is that as close as you're going to get to an Ink Strike from Splatoon 1? And Raptura. Raptura and that so on the tower. That's so going to uh, go off on his own adventures and uh, do so in dramatic fashion. He's going to be taking on uh, quite a few members of the opposing side. Four to two on the field, two to two now. I think that so uh, might have ultimately met his fate by charging in like that. But the damage being done and 57 points off of the board. 57 points on the board, rather, for Raptura and company. Happy birthday, Rakesh, indeed. Looking to make this a one-to-one -one match. And now even more points being taken off of the board. Down below, uh, down above 70. 75, even. Ron Maru being taken out by that, so. And the inkjet being broken out. Gonna keep on the uh, gonna keep on the tower just to make sure it doesn't reset. He wanted to get some more kills with that inkjet, but unfortunately not able to. But he will cut down on the lead, and it's down below 14, 13. Count it down with me, folks. This could be the death knell for team for team Ace, and indeed it will be the knockout blow. Happy birthday, Rakesh. We'll take game number two and tie this set up at one. And wow, what a game from those two teams. That's so leading the way with 16 splats, a few of them coming via Inkjet. Ace leading his team with eight splats with that splatter shot pro, but ultimately just so well coordinated by the part of that so and Raptura that uh, really could not do a whole lot against it. And uh, Pixely and Eris providing the exact right amount of support in order to gain a victory. Luna, you could tell, doing everything she possibly could, but ultimately was kept silent by the uh, individual prowess of that's, uh, of uh, Team Raptura with Happy Birthday Rakesh. I guess I should say HBR, however you want to say it. But yeah, I think, uh, think that match speaks for itself be completely honest so as we approach clam blitz at piranha pit one of the more interesting maps i should say uh for uh for clam blitz please excuse me <coughs> this is why we need a cough button folks but either way if we yeah right so as we get set for clam blitz as i was saying ought to be interesting the setup that we see from uh from Astro and Ace. Now, we're definitely going to see Astro play on the back line. I can only assume that we're going to see him with that Hydra Splat lane from above, as Piranha Pit does have some uh, decent elevation to it. But it's going to be a pretty one-dimensional thing. You could, uh, you have your avenues around that. And so now, game number two. Number three, I should say because it is number three at Piranha Pit. And you can see it's going to be, uh, it's a its a bit of a trek just to get to your goal to defend it. Astro indeed breaking out the Splatling. And two Kensa sloshing machines being broken out. This is a very aggressive set from Happy Birthday Rakesh. You would think if you wanted to say happy birthday to him, you would at least break out one Splatling, but no, that will not be the case. Two Kensa Sloshing Machines to go along with the Nensap 85 and the Kensa Splatter Shot Pro. Oh, excuse me, the regular Splatter Shot Pro. Forge Splatter Shot Pro, I should say. The one with the Splat Bombs, the Sticky Bombs, you know what I meant. And Astro. A backliner 
if there ever was one here at the laboratory. With that splatling, he's gonna try to keep Raptura at bay even with that power clamp. And the rest of his team getting taken out. The rest of his team uh, employing a uh, splatter shot, vanilla splatter shot. Along with the Kensa Duelies and the Forge Splatter Shot Pro as well, but there's a lot of damage being uh, taken out upon by, by Happy Birthday Rakesh. 35 points on the board, and it looks like that will be all, but damage being done early by Team HBR. Oh, and Astro getting taken out. Maybe just a little too aggressive there, and Ace going to do as much as he possibly can to neutralize those bubbles. He'll respond with some bubbles of his own. Oh, his movement's being dictated very easily. Oh, no! Pixely misses the throw, and that could have been huge for Team Happy Birthday, Rakesh. Raptura being made to chase after it, and that's exactly what Team Ace wanted as Ron Maru helps neutralize the threat in the middle. He goes ahead after taking care of Vince at the back. Now, Ron Maru trying to swim up. Ace and Luna with power clams. Both of those threats will be neutralized by Raptura and company with the direct hit with the sloshing machine. Brutal as always. Raptura brooks no discourse and he will have a power clam. He'll throw the fizzy bomb. Raptura looking for his opportunity, will super jump and, and splash down. Wait a second, he's not quite done yet and well, <laughs> Luna says, yeah, you are. You're done. And that's so will take care of the threat up close, even with the duelies 3-1 to one on the field in favor of Team Happy Birthday Rakesh. Pixley with that fizzy bomb, looking to take care of the threat on the side. Could very well have moved on, however. Pixley is going to super jump towards his teammates at Raptura. The barrier will be broken, and indeed, the score taken down. Oh, my goodness. A barrage of clams being thrown in by Team HBR, and 85 points off of the board, but that's a team wipe. They're going to have more clams to be thrown in. Raptura looking to keep the points, uh, the points going, and he'll be pushed back behind the goal, and eventually he will super jump back to his base. The fact that that's so got a trade out of that is just a little nuts. But indeed, 88 points on the board. Eris will forfeit the ball and try to draw uh, opposition towards it. That will allow uh, some of his teammates, uh, that will allow him to get a splat. And that's so, looking to administer the coup de grace. This could be the opportunity here. Cutting in on the penalty, there's 12 points. More clams being thrown in. Indeed, the power clam will be the knockout blow, and Team HBR will take it 2-1 to one after a knockout victory in Clam Blitz. And what a victory it was. Ace dropping two games in a row. That's so, and Eris combining for 31 splats. The aggressive setup had paid dividends, and then some. 31 splats combined between the two. And now as uh, we get set for Rainmaker, game number four, it will be interesting to see the stage. And that will certainly determine the makeup of the two teams. Snapper Canal will be the venue. So you're going to see some, uh, you're going to see some cheekiness all over the map. It's not going to be through one central avenue. You're going to see battles all over this field, so it will definitely call into question the 1v1 prowess of Team Ace and see that, you know what, we know that we have some good individual players, but let's see if they're good enough to take out Raptura and that's so. Two members, of course, of the Bros Calamity Squall Stars. So uh, Astro, a Squall Star himself, a backliner on that side, he's going to probably have to take a little bit more of a 
of an aggressive tact as well. I could see him breaking out the Jet Squelcher here just so he could be a little bit more mobile, but you're going to see him uh, want to keep at range as well. And uh, you see that when he gets aggressive, that's when he gets himself in trouble, unfortunately. That's uh, simply not the game that he plays and uh, certainly not why he's one of the more celebrated players to come through the laboratory is uh, because of his long range expertise. Now, you don't really want him, uh, he, he's not Muddy Jr. He's not going to be the person that you're going to want to throw onto the front lines trying to uh, trying to go all Rambo on people. No, you're gonna want him to, you're gonna want him to, to stay at range. So now, Snapper Canal, Rainmaker, game number four. Team Ace will need this to stay alive. Team HBR needs this to seal the deal and come away with the victory. Raptura going back to the sloshing machine as one would expect, but it's the Kensa model this time. And now the Kensa sloshing machine ends at 85. A rapid blaster of his own to go along with the, uh, excuse me, the Rapid Blaster Pro and the Forge Splatter Shot Pro. But on, the op but on the opposition, we're gonna see Astro breaking out the Explosher, interesting. Now we have seen him play this. We have seen him play that, but we are used to seeing Raptura use it uh, a little bit as well. So it's interesting to see this uh, come from Astro and not Raptura. But the Explosher, Tenetech Splatter Shot, the uh, Custom Blaster and the Forge Splatter Shot Pro. So, both sides having Forge Splatter Shot Pros. Raptura, oh, is gonna get taken care of by Astro with that custom Explosher. And now the Rainmaker being taken up by Team HBR. The baller going to, oh my gosh, going to take care of Pixely and then the Explosher taking care of that. So two members of team, uh, of team HBR being decommissioned by Astro, who also takes the lead with the Rainmaker going up the side, charging, and just like that, Astro putting the team on his back and carrying them to 90 points on the board. So that's so, and company will probably need that knockout victory if they want to seal the deal and avoid this from going to a game five. They've been looking so dominant as of thus far. That's so taking out Ace with the splatter shot, uh, with the splatter shot pro, the forge model that has those suction bombs as mentioned prior. Oh man, Ranmaru had nowhere else to go. And that's so right now. Doing an incredible job. However, that so is in deep trouble, and indeed it's going to be Astro getting a measure of retribution. Raptura in trouble, taken out by Ron Maru on the side, and Ace is going to help pop the bubble and hopefully uh, secure a, uh, at least hopefully for him, secure a knockout victory. That's so being taken out by Bubbles. Astro, excuse me, Ace popping the bubbles, popping bottles in celebration of a game four victory potentially but HBR, they're going to have something to say about this. You're seeing a lot of bodies close to that Rainmaker. Eris gets taken out from range by the Explosher. Astro doing a great job from range thus far, connecting on eight kills thus far, just a little over halfway through the game. Raptura does well to get out of the way of the Explosher, but only for so long. What a kill by Astro and Ron Maru gets decommissioned by the splatter shot pro and that so could have just saved his team and now the push four people on the field you're going to do it now's the time the blaster out of commission for just now three to four to one on the field four to two make that however they're driving up right near the spawn point they're going to get taken out eventually and indeed Luna does some dirty business along the side. And what a good job by Luna with that custom blaster. She might have just saved her team a victory. So it will be 61 points on the board. 
for that so and company of Team Happy Birthday Rakesh. However, it's not going to be enough to secure the victory this time. They're going to have to get 91 or more. Less than a minute to go. The push is going to have to happen now. Waiting for all four members of the side to get back to each other. Eris is going to have to get back there and get back there just a little bit quicker than he is if they want to continue this push. 4-4 four, four on the field. Eris is trying to, going on these solo endeavors, trying to sneak up behind them. They will push it up, but not nearly enough. And it's 2-2 two two on the field. It's anyone's ball, anyone's rainmaker, I should say. 4-3 on the field, and it looks like they will take it. They're going to push forward. Do they have enough to take the lead? Yes, they do. It's a knockout blow. HBR, 3-1. Just enough at the death of it all, and HBR steals it. What a play. Eris coming up through the side, occupying the opposing team enough and uh, Ace, as you saw, the top two players on Team Ace combining for 27 kills. But ultimately, Eris with some cheeky maneuvering. That was high risk, high reward. Don't make any mistake about it. But occupying the opposing team just enough to secure the victory. And uh, that's how you do it. It's a teamwork makes the dream work. But sometimes you need those individual flashes of brilliance. So good job by them. And didn't even lead his team in kills, but did just enough in terms of coverage, in terms of spacing. One of the unsung heroes of that team and certainly going to be singing his praises on into the night as Team Happy Birthday Rakesh, appropriately enough, takes home the 3-1 victory. And they will take home the winner's share of the purse here at uh, Switch Versus at the lab. Folks, that's our Splatoon tournament. We thank you for joining us. You're going to want to stick around, though. We've got some Smash Brothers Ultimate action coming up at around 5 Eastern Standard Time. That's 5 Eastern Standard Time. But uh, don't go anywhere. We've got some more action coming from you, uh, coming for you from the laboratory in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. So don't go nowhere. You're watching Switch Versus at the Lab.